Hello, my name is Jim Carkey. I'm with Texas Instruments and I work in the high speed amplifier group as a, a new product definition specialist and an application uh, engineer. So I, I wrote an application report that's in the uh, analog applications journal concerning uh, input impedance matching of fully differential amplifiers. Now, when you're designing a system to reduce reflections, you need to, of course, be concerned about the impedance match between the line and the source and the determination. So a fully differential amplifier, we usually call an FDA. It's generally driven, drawn like a normal amplifier op amp would be, except for that it has two outputs, and so it's fully differential, differential in, differential out. We put resistors around it, and we now have an amplifier. So if we put in the, the typical resistors, we call them RG and RF to set the gain, we drive this differentially, and the input impedance looks like these two resistors, and it's fairly, fairly easy to uh, compute. And to match that, you can easily put a resistor across here in order to uh, uh, get the exact value you want. Where it becomes more complicated is when you drive it single-endedly on the input and use the amplifier to do the differential conversion. Now because the amplifier is no longer differential, it actually this point here moves a bit with the signal input and that just makes it more complicated and the exact value is harder to compute. Uh, in the application report that I wrote on this subject, we, uh, we talk about this, we show you the equations, and then I actually provide a, a spreadsheet and some TINA simulation files in order for you to, to go ahead and, and do the design work yourself. And that's it.